be watching Corel Master YouTube channel. Today in this video I will teach you how to make this text effect in Corel Draw. So let's start. Of course we need um, a text. In this case I'm using this type of font. You can find this font. It's for free. Uh, we need to make this text like this. How we gonna do that? Select the text and control, hold control and key. And now we have every single uh, letter alone. Uh, what we gonna do next? We have to convert them to a curve like this. It's easy to customize them and manipulate them or play with them. Uh, you can do this uh, with the first letter or the last letter or the letter in the middle. It's except to you or your text. So I'm using the shape tool and hold control, select the upper part like this or shift and let's shift again and we have the this shape and now we have to transform this text like this it's easy and in the end we will have this one so we don't need all this and let's go to the next step and now we need another copy from this shape and we need to use a contour or outline that's uh, 50 or maybe more uh, 60 that's good and now we need to convert outline to a curve and select everything and well now we have this one we need a uh, white or gray We need to use the 3D effect here. So let's use it. Extrude like this and another color. Okay, like this. We need it thicker like this. That's good. Or maybe just a little. That's good. So now we need to use break apart like this, select the 3D effect and we need it in another color like this without outline and now we need this color in white and outline too, this look like this. This is what we got. So let's move to the next step. And now we need another copy. Uh, we need outline by this color. You can take the code if you can see that. 
and we need to use interact to fill to uh, like this we need two color we need the orange and this color here sorry this one We need like this and we need another copy from this one without outline what we're gonna do now we have to draw a line and another one here hold control and copy and paste and now we need to use the blend tool on this two lines so uh, we need a bigger number like or maybe 200 something uh, that's a lot 200 100 That's enough, like this. Transform them like this. And, sorry. We need the color in white. We can use bigger number like this. That's okay. And send it back and use uh, the power clip inside this one and we have this to power and actually now we have three parts this one and this one and this one so let's move to the next step what we're gonna do now uh, we need to select this part and select the line we need to use a uh, transparency uh, um, choose uh, 65 so that's okay good and now we need to combine everything we put this in the center and this one too but we need to push it up like this we need to show up some of this color like this that's good and now we need to put some uh, dark color on the top like this like this one how we do that we just need another copy from this one uh, use black color without outline make another copy Select everything and use back minus front like this and delete some of these uh, some of these parts we don't need it then in the end you will have this one group them and we have to put it in the top This. and we have to use the transparency now like this that's enough and now we need to put some white color here we just choose uh, the freehand tool like 
this. Choosing white color without outline, use the transparency, or maybe the same number. Or oh, 16. Okay, that's good. And now we need to use the same thing with this letter. need something here in this letter we have the S letter We use the same thing with the E letter and the R as you want. So let's go to the next step. And now we need to change the background uh, color. Uh, we need to use the direct fill to The same uh, color that you see in the uh, top or the bottom. Because we need to show this uh, 3D effect, so we need uh, to select this one. use uh, the shadow that we need to make a copy of this one like this and select everything and back minus one and we gonna have this one We just need the the, the the shapes and the bottom. We don't need everything. So 
we need to choose everything true or we need a uh, 12 and we need to do that for this one we don't need it so we have this now what you're gonna do convert it to a uh, bitmap and uh, sorry you need to use uh, the blog gushion blog okay that's good and now you need to use it here send it back Now we need to select this one, the white one, we need to use a contour, make sure it's uh, inside contour and we use this one, this uh, or maybe this one, as you want but I'm using this one. And finally we have our text effect this is what we have in the end and hope you learned something in this tutorial and if you like this tutorial uh, you can share it with your friend or you can like it or subscribe to our channel and you will see a lot of text effect in Coral Draw. So goodbye.